Okay, so. We are continuing. Yes, I still have the auto pickup. Uh, so we know what to expect here. And more kind of safe enemies to take out. Right? Did that not... Did that not kill you? I guess not. I may have been mistaken. I kind of assumed that gravity would not be friendly to these guys. But clearly I'm mistaken. I don't know why I thought that. Anyways, uh, this is where we're coming back to. This ultimately is where we're coming back to. If I remember correctly... No. That's right. Shoot. I did this the last time too! <laughs> Shoot. That may be... something of note, actually. That... Let's let's go back and I don't I don't need to go back and get it. I did the exact same thing. I like can't, I I I saw the shield station and I saw the item crate and I was like, oh well, that's clearly where we need to go. But let's go in this hallway first, just to see what's there. And then it hit the loading screen. I'm like, oh, the shield station was where I needed to go. Dang it, dang it, dang it. And then I was like, well, I'm at 90 shields anyway. I don't really need to to go down here. But anyways. <laughs> doing this again. Uh, so this is the first instance of using the gravity gun to slow your fall, and uh, it didn't register with me the first time, but I tried it anyway, and I was able to do it. Now we have lots of zombies. Actually, I'm gonna save here at the start. Uh, so, so we have zombies. It's kind of... And it's it's a really nice environment, but the combat kind of is a bit stale. Uh, this physics thing, unfortunately, does not kill the zombies. Damage is you, but I think that's just systemic. Are you... You are. I think what I did was... Knocked all these over? Because I didn't want... I thought they were just going to be in my way. But I guess we can leave them on. Let's leave them on this time. Um, actually, we can't. We can't leave it on because we have to go down that way. Maybe we can turn off our flashlight and walk in front of it. Anyways, uh, so if we try to turn on our lights, we know the generators turn on lights. But this thing has plugs and one of these wires is inconspicuously colored red instead. <laughs> Rhyming, not intentional there. Uh, so let me see... All right, it's light enough for them to see me. Oh, that's right, they don't have ammo. These are all out of ammo. I kind of wish that these had ammo so that I could feel smart in avoiding them and completing the initial objective. And spoiler alert, in case you haven't figured it out by the 1, 2, 3, 17, 24, 76 red flammable barrels in here. This is going to be a combat space. But anyways, I wish that the, the turrets had ammo so that I could be like... I could knock them over. Or, if I want to feel crafty, I could go solve the uh, puzzle, which involves following the wire down to here and plugging it in. Super difficult, <laughs> but there it is. And and then the uh, sentry guns would be on my side as long as th it's like it's an agnostic third party, right? It's like it has no loyalties. It's gonna shoot whatever it wants. So if I avoid them, then they could potentially work for me or against me, depending on what I do. And I I destroyed this one as well. Let me just make sure. That this is out of ammo as well. Yeah, there everything is out of ammo. I I wish these had ammo. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this combat was it did not exactly thrill me. No, I didn't do that last time. That's interesting. The it's it's super easy. This. The many, many physics objects here, in case you have not noticed, 
go berserk on frame rate. Uh, frame rate gets kind of bad in here. In fact, at the very end, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it just to see if it still is like 100% consistent. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It's a nice environment, I think. In a in a in a I'm sorry, Valve, but in a better engine that. All these uh, fizzobs and destructible stuff would be better highlighted than what they are at the moment. <laughs> I was waiting for that grenade. Let's get rid of that turret because I'm tired of listening to you. Um, in case you haven't noticed, the right uh, reticle thingy is the gravity gun's power. So I was originally all like, Ah, this is super powered. I could just do this all day. Oh crap, I can't shoot now until it recharges a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. And that was, uh, that was on my original thing. Hello, floating bucket. It's not floating, it's, it's suspended. And then at a certain point, it's like, well... Uh, this whole area, yeah, they, they only have one route to get down here. So these stairs are super campy, campable, and you just do that. The... I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, like, if you didn't have the gravity gun, then this would be a vastly different experience, but I don't know. It's, it's worth... it's just worth mentioning that the combat, as it stands, was a bit easy and and easily campable. Uh, like up here was really easy and then down in the pit as well was super easy because of the stairs primarily. And you know, you you can potentially stick to like 10% of this battlefield just uh, just killing stuff. Uh, so what happened was, I'm not, I, I changed my mind, I'm not gonna do it, but there are... where are they? They're gone. I think they got detonated. There were some propane tanks down here, and I ran across them, and because, like, I don't know, physics did something where they blew me up. And at first it was like, oh ho ho, silly me, I blew myself up. And then when I reloaded in this area, all these fizz hops are like, F you computer, hello slideshow, and, and it was like, seriously single digit frame rate, and I was like, oh, it hurts, it hurts a lot. But, anyways. I don't quite remember- oh, that's right, the uh, elevator is very well lit right there. That's what it unlocked for us. And... Yes, I believe- let me just get these things. Not the flammable barrels, I don't want to detonate anything else. I don't want physics to go wonky. Use our weird lockpick maneuver to open this door. Thing. Thank you, finally. I thought this was a neat um, thing, because <laughs> it's like, oh, well, it's it's reinforcing training with the gravity gun. And so we go up here, and I don't remember... It's totally encased. I did not do this last time, but I guess... Did I do this last time? I'm not too sure. I hear... I hear a thing. Alright, there we go. We see a dropship. Uh, we see these lambda flags blowing in the wind, blowing in the gentle breeze, the summer gentle breeze. Or the gentle summer breeze. I don't know, whatever. And... I guess we can see stuff. And that's all we can really do here. We can't really do much in here. And that's okay. And then we come back here. I think I made note that some of these corners are actually clipped off, which was which was nice. And uh, some of the models I think were not, but the vast majority of them were. But look how nice it looks. It looks really, really nice. Light maps, you know, nice, nice strong contrasty shadows to kind of draw your eye. To, uh, where you need to go. The, also the green against the kind of gray 
concretey stuff, but nothing else is in this room anyway. It's not like there's uh, side passages to go down or anything like that, so... And then this thing... We've already, like, blown apart these things, so maybe it's instinct? I'm not sure, but when I came in here, I was like, ah, oh, shoot. And then I was like, oh, the entire gate lifts up. Okay. And... Eventually I got it open. It didn't take me that many tries the last time. Okay, and now we are in just like a destroyed area. And we have rockets. And I did not see this clipboard last time. Hello, survivor. Resistance, dude. I'm gonna read this because I didn't see this last time and I'm gonna read it now and you can't stop me. We have orders to bunker here for the night. Too many of the crew are seriously hurt. We've already lost a few of our men. We made quite a racket working our way here. I never thought we'd be we would have survived that horde. Too bad it cost us the last of our turrets. If any combine patrols hurt us, we will be slaughtered here. They got slaughtered here. We will have no choice but to press our luck. We do no good beginning our assault in this condition. Well, it looks like they got slaughtered here. Yeah. I believe these are all locked. I believe that was actually the only one. And there's just a gate that we can't escape out of. Yet? Maybe? I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Uh, alarm's going off. This looks great. Anyways, we see more of these things. Uh, it's, it's really consistent using the sheet metal as a visual a like hey this area is blastable and uh, things like that other games will use color and when you when you don't want to make textures or or new um, you know new maps for, for props and stuff uh, this is having having something consistent in a necessary thing for the player <laughs> like you need to go through this door uh, it's it's really it's really good so, let's go through this door. We see a guy here. A uh, head crab munching on a... On a uh, is it a combine? It's a survivor. It's a resistance dude with a crossbow. I could never figure out how to get in here. I don't know if it's even possible. It looks like those are static instead of... When everything else is fizzobs, these are static. Looks like there's a door over there with a chair under it. Is that a door? Is that this door? Oh, that's this door. Nice. I didn't do this last time. Oh, that just clicked. Oh, no, I can't get the crossbow. No way. Are you serious? No freaking way. Gimme. Gimme. If this was me, I mean, this crossbow is a is a thing. It's a it's there. It's an entity in um in the world. I would have said like immediately when this door is opened, because it can only be opened from here. You can't open it from the inside. I don't think because this is this is a decal door. I would have said as soon as this door is open, destroy that crossbow and replace it on the ground with. With a normal pick upable crossbow, pick upable, a normal crossbow that you can pick up, because it would have made sense to me that like, oh, he lost his grip, <laughs> it fell or whatever. Uh, having it in the world and like, you know, it's so tantalizingly close, but I can't use it. It's it's uh, it's an expectation thing. It's like, well, why can I come in here? Can I? Yeah, I still can't do anything with it. And then the head, head, well, I saved you from the head crab. Come on, Jerry. It's like weekend at Bernie's. Hey, let's go party. He's he's gone. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Very well. All right. So many physics stuff in here. Some are not physics. That's fine too. That's actually good because it's super taxing. Anyways, we're gonna carry on. Uh. Would have liked to have the crossbow there. Did not notice that the first time. 
inconsistent clipping here on something. This is, I mean, there's no combat in an area. I'm, it's, I feel it's more important in Left 4 Dead because in Left 4 Dead, any area is potentially a combat area. In a single player game, it's, some areas are more... more deserving of a clipping pass, and so a connection loading hallway, you know, I, I, this, this wouldn't even, like, be a thing for me, actually. I'm just kind of pointing it out, because I, because you can't take the QA out of the person. That's just, that's just how it is. took a drink of coffee right as right as I finished that all right we're getting near the end this is the first this is actually really kind of the whole mod as a whole looks pretty nice and it starts out strong in that area with like the lighting effects and stuff and this was the second area as I came in here I was like holy crap this really is a good looking mod it really like everything else wiped off the table <laughs> it looks really really nice um, I don't think I've seen a mod look as good as this one. Uh, maybe I just haven't experienced enough mods. That's that's possible as well, but I don't know. Uh, the first thing I noticed in this area is lots and lots of rockets. Uh, one, two, three, four, and I believe... I don't think there was any up there or up there. There's like four in here, and I already have three from here. And then I shot this, and I was like, oh, I can break windows. Because how else am I going to get out of here? I can't go through this door. This is, you know, also a door. That's a decal door. This is a decal door, but these could be brushes, I guess. Anyways, I was like, how do I get out of this place? Oh, window. Let's use our rocket jumping skills. As soon as you get up here, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> it's like, oh crap, there's people flying at me, there's people repelling down there, there's a guy very close to you that's shooting at you. And then this guy shows up, and, and it's worth pointing out that I really like that he's lit so well from the lighting on the building, because it's... It's not like you can miss that guy. And at this point, I retreated back in here. Or actually, I think I shot him a few times, but I can't shoot him from here, obviously. I think I shot him a few times, and then I I got a couple of, uh, of the rockets. And things will start happening here. These things. This Strider really goes to town on this building. He basically blows open all the entrances, allowing all the other Combine to get in here. My gravity ball it did not connect. Um, but the Strider can't get in here, so you could technically kind of hold off this area fairly well. Uh, he does do the ducky kind of shooty, McShooty stuff, but it's it's pretty easy to camp this area, and and we're gonna try to do that because it's it's important to uh, it's an important note to make here. So we're going to. I wish I hadn't missed because that would have uh, compounded my point here. So there's a rocket there. And there's two more over here. That's gonna put us back to full on rockets. Ugh, if I can, if I can get it. One down. More coming in. At this point, the the player should realize, like, oh crap, I cannot just stay here. Uh, we need to move around because we need more rockets, obviously. I'm paranoid, I'm gonna glitch out on one of the strider legs and kill myself, so I'm gonna start... I'm just gonna quick save there. The, um, for how powerful the gravity gun is, I kinda wish that there were more... 
combine in here. But, okay. I kind of wish that more of these boards were kind of destructible as well. Um, I saw this light here as very, very strong and kind of a red herring. I was like, oh, there's got to be something way over here. But there's not. But there's not. And because we've been trained to know that that is a thing, I came in here. This is actually, this is the second place I ended up. And the, the Striders treat apparently like all of these uh, warehouses the same. They're probably just doing like a trigger volume around the whole thing and detecting if the player is in there and then start having the Strider start to destroy stuff. If I shoot that, is that going to go through the glass? I don't think it does. It does not. No. Go up. Alright, let's just... From the back. I'm fine with that. There we go. And I believe... I believe there are no more rockets in here. I'm gonna get shields. I, I like the force movement. It's it's very kind of... I know it, it might seem contradictory, like with the whole Easter egg hunts, but I don't view it in that respect. I view it as, like, encouraging movement and and finding out how to uh, destroy the, the things. What the hell was that? It sounded like a thing that I hadn't heard before. There's a human tendency to take the most optimal path uh, for anything. It's, it's, it's called, like, the path of least resistance or something. I believe... I didn't do this last time. Holy crap. Frame rate, 17 there. Okay. This is what I did the, the, la the, the last time. Holy shit. Frame rate is at 7. All right, there we go. We got two more things here. As I was saying, humans find the optimal path and they stick with it. That's that's why people camp in corners to kill enemies. Um, you know, speed runs are a thing. That's why um, I'm trying to shoot this thing with a gravity gun instead of a rocket. Uh, that's just that's just the way things are. So if you if you have built like this really interesting kind of dynamic full of fizz obs and destructible environments and you know three enemies that can destroy the environment and you want to have the player like move around a lot it makes sense and it's it's fine in my book to encourage movement by spreading out the ammo that's that's just the thing that's that's what i would do actually for if that matters that guy is hauling. Uh, the the regular zombies don't, or not the zombies, the regular combine don't know where I am. Let's grab our shields. This is so I'm kind of retracing steps because this was an interesting point. I was like, I can see health over there, which means there's items over there. I wonder if I can rocket jump over there. And yes, yes, you can. You can rocket jump across these things. This is very, very noteworthy. It's very unique. Uh, you don't really ever do this ever in anywhere else in Half-Life. So it was like, oh my god, that's that's pretty awesome. Okay, is this guy... And then, I mean, the point where... I kind of got sad when I killed this last... This is the last Strider, I believe. And I got a little sad when I killed him because... I kind of wanted to spend more time in this environment. I was like, oh, I want to I want to see all the things. I don't know if that's I don't know. It's noteworthy if nothing else. Uh I never got over to there that crane thing. That looks far. Is it closer or farther than that jump there? 
Are you the same one? There's only one shooting at us. Okay, that's just... <laughs> the, uh, the concrete thing is like rolling on something there. I was like, what's sparking over there? Alright, I'm gonna try that. I don't know if I can do this. I, I didn't try this last the first time. Geronimo! Holy cow! Barely made it. Yikes. That is totally gonna kill. That's gonna kill someone. I mean, I was... Let's just let's just finish it. This was this was the end. Uh, it's a really nice combat area. That's where you start out, you know. You have lots of options. You have really tall things that you know you can jump up onto. If you kind of panic and are looking for a safe area, elevation is safe and because you know that you can rocket jump. It's pretty intuitive in my mind that, you know, you just get to a high area and you have a bit more hidey spots and stuff, so... The main thing for me was after I had killed those guys was like, I want to see what else is in this area. I want to just kind of explore a bit, but that is how it goes, I suppose. And that's it. And this is how it ends. Dr. Freeman. Is it really that time again? We'll see about that. And that's why I say there's no story to this mod, because there really isn't. But that's alright. I think I think that's alright. It's it's really a nice aesthetic <laughs> mod. It looks really nice. I think overall, like that one puzzle with light and zombies and turrets could have been explained a bit better. But as as a whole, it's like really, really well put together. The combat at the end, I think the 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 there's there's two main combat encounters. The first one with the zombies in that wide area, and I kinda wish there was there's lots of physics stuff, but none of it really seems to work for you. It's all just, hey, things were exploding. I wish that there were... Because you have a gravity gun. I wish that there were things that you could affect with that gun that you couldn't affect otherwise. And that those things would... Do things. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, It's kind of like shooting cars in normal Half-Life 2, right? And it's like, you can shoot the cars into the antlion holes to stop them from spawning, or something like that. But since you have a ranged it, thing now with this gravity gun, I wish that, you know, you could uh, shoot the crane arm and it drops. There was actually in that, in one of those areas, I don't remember which one, uh, there's a couple cranes that are holding up uh, cargo containers, and I was really disappointed that... Shooting the little coupling things did not drop the uh, cargo containers. It's like, ugh, oh, I feel cheated. I feel sad. Uh, for the second combat encounter, the one that we just went through, it was definitely more interesting than the first. Uh, I I kind of wish that there was just more going on, but I kind of understand why there wasn't because there's already lots of physics stuff going on. Um, it's kind of a large area, so. Optimization has to be a factor in any combat space as well. Uh, how many how many enemies could potentially be running around this area? Uh, when you have those giant striders running around, potentially running into fizzobs and flinging them across the environment, you know, that's, that's a thing. I mean, you saw in the video how my frame rate went to 7. Well, you couldn't see it, but you, you, saw, the, you saw the frame rate, but not the number. But it got down to 7, for realsies. I'm not lying. I'm going to include the link in the description. There's not a lot of videos up for this that I could find anyway, but I'm sure as more people find them, uh, they'll play it. As more as, as, as more people find it, they will play it. Uh, it's very interesting. I would definitely recommend playing it. 
lots of nice aesthetic stuff going on and uh, some interesting ideas and uh, a lot of a lot of like player leading elements that are transferable to other games other single player games are present in this that are not present in other mods that uh that i've looked at so really neat mod i liked it I encourage you all to play it go check it out link to the mod is in the description and a link to if you want to see my first blind playthrough of this i'm going to link the uh twitch video in the description as well so there's that if you wish. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.